merely a bachelor business, but here we have a foursome. Maybe that's the only way the fellows could get away. If half the fun of fishing is going fishing in a setting like this, you have nothing to lose, fish or no fish. So let's see what happens. Whoop, careful, there's a drop off in the reef. That's a nice fellow. Notice how well the ladies handle this light tackle. The spinning reels do the trick. They've made it possible for everyone to be a skillful caster. Bingo, first one today. Bring them in, lass, and let's see what's gonna be cooking. And now we're really in business. A pair of jacks. That makes it just right for openers. They're both jack crevals. They are sometimes confused with yellowtails, but the yellowtail is actually a California fish with no reason to winter in Florida. Leave it to the girls to get the men to do the work. These jacks weigh about two pounds, but they sometimes run up to 20 pounds. Time out from fishing? Do you suppose they're up to some kind of mischief? Surf casting can be a large waste of time if you don't know where and when to fish. He's hooked another, and it turns out to be an angel fish. This one takes the booby prize. That couple was up to mischief. I don't think anybody is going to catch any fish right about now. Or perhaps the whole idea is to scare out some fish. This looks like this ski stuff is catchy, and it definitely puts surf casting on the skids. Wouldn't you like to be there now? Not a care in the world as the hours just glide by. After the fun on the water, now it's fun in the water. At the turn of each tide, the deep currents team with deep sea prowlers looking over the seafood menu. So, how about getting back to fishing? This is a ruckus caused by a school of jacks attacking a school of minnows. And Mr. Pelican has his own fishing technique. He dive bombs and rarely misses. Hurry up and get out there before the pelicans get them all. And when Mr. Pelican gets excited, you know they're really there. So let's get those hooks over the side, fellas. But it's ladies first, another jack. But you've got to give the man credit for placing the boat right over the school of fish. More work for the boys, unhooking the fish. And this one is a school jack. He'll weigh about two pounds. And watch this. And a strike. And here we have a game little loser, a one pound Spanish mackerel. Look at the bend of that rod, the biggest one yet. Hold what you got, play them safe. There, careful now. Okay, now bring him in. A 20 pound Mexican pompano. This beautiful fellow is rarely caught on a hook and it's the highest priced fish on any menu. It's fun school fishing, but you soon have a bonanza aboard. You know, girls are considered helpless on a fishing trip, but this girl is a good sport. This couple is having such a happy time. Hey, do you suppose they're honeymooners? The time comes to take inventory. No point catching too many.
this should take care of all the friends with deep freezers and maybe a fish fry or perhaps a chowder party. Now let's see nature in the raw. And it looks like big fish. This whole thing gets started by a school of minnows. Jacks come in to eat the minnows. Then tarpon come in to eat the jacks. And that's where you come in. Now it's a switch over to deep sea tackle. For the fish that really tests your skill is tarpon. And it's a nice one. Tarpon are strong, high-leaping fighters. They run from 50 pounds to a record 247. Remember, that fish is as big as you are, and he knows how to throw his weight around. Tarpon also have bony plates in their throats, and they specialize in throwing hooks. If you lose your head or relax for one split second, look out, something's got to give. Oh, too bad, too bad. It's tough losing your first silver king, but if it's any consolation to you, even the experts on this fighting fish admit that eight out of 10 get away. Another strike. And our heroine makes a wise decision. This is man's work. We've already lost one today, so let's play this one smart. That heavy rod's becoming a hoop. It's a torture test for tackle and your poor aching muscles. Thanks, partner. It's hard to say who's caught who. He keeps taking line out, and it's your job to bring line in. In this muscle busting, there's a mental hazard. It's the lady's fish, really. She hooked him. You can't let this one get away. Is he giving up or just resting? They never give up. There's no rest with a hooked tarpon. He revives faster than you can. Man, you might as well have hooked an atomic submarine. It's dangerous hauling these giants into a boat, but when it's your first tarpon, it's a trophy. Something to hang over the mantelpiece. But keep away from him now. The only safe tarpon is a stuffed tarpon. Proud girl, she hooked him. A race begins to put him on ice and call the taxidermist. It's hard to believe this has been only one day for these fishing vagabonds. Surf casting, water skiing, swimming. And now they're bringing back a tarpon. Tomorrow? Who thinks about tomorrow in these carefree hours of sun and fun?